I've always wanted to get a leech. But like whenever my family and I have gone bushwalking, someone has almost always gotten a leech, and it's usually my sister. I don't know what they're worried about. I just want to see what it's like to get my blood sucked and then, you know, salt it off, stuff like that. Yeah, get a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. You are listening to the Morning Glory podcast. My name is Jared Bett and I'm joined by Wilson Tian. Hello everyone. How's it going? <laughs> Have a great show today, Wilson. I'm so excited. Awesome. Ah. Ah. I, had, I had one of those uh, Hungry Jacks uh, 50 cent cones on my way here. See, the irony thing is the McDonald's 30 cent cones are better. Cheaper, but better. Oh, they're not 30 cents anymore. Really? What? This is an outrage. You haven't been to Macca's, Macca's in ages, have you? Oh, I eat way too healthy these days. Domino's for me. <laughs> um, well, yeah, apparently when they, about five years ago, the 30 cent cones rose to 50 cents. And then everyone was like, oh, this is outrageous. I'm not paying extra 20 cents for a 30 cent cone. And so no one bought them anymore. And so McDonald's realized this and then they dropped the prices back to 30 cents. So for about a good four years, they were 30 cents. And then recently they went back to 50 cents because uh, I think... The outrage is gone or something. The outrage is gone. I reckon it was because the name of it is sort of 30 cent cone. Whenever you hear anyone order or whenever I've ordered it, it's always been, can I have a 30 cent cone? And when they say, that's 50 cents, please, it kind of makes you think, what? I don't want a 50 cent cone, bitch. They should just, they should have. <laughs> I want a 30 cent cone. They should never have advertised it like that. They should have just called it an ice serve. cream cone. Well, that's something. what they call it now, soft serve. Yeah. But when I think soft serve, I think of like diarrhea. How do you feel about doing some good Wilson? I'm interested, yes. Are you? Depends on how much I have to do. Talk, mainly. Okay, what do I have to do? Uh, well, it's, it's about time for our segment, Advice. The segment where we help people. We've helped everybody that we've asked, answered questions for so far. I don't know how they could go wrong after the advice that we've given them. Yeah. You know what? I think with the amount of advice we've been given out, the state of the world should not be in the state it is in now. Well, that's just it. It has, you know, there's obviously nothing going on politically in the world it's all just natural disasters so and we can't help that we can't help that maxine asks what color should i dye my hair this just made me think of you when i uh, found this <laughs> when this question was asked because remember that time where you completely shaved your head bald and your eyebrows as well what was that about was that because i don't know we weren't as close to friends back then uh, well all i remember <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> after the shaving, we became closer, right? <laughs> Maybe. I was just intrigued by your Britney Spears style antics. I just remember going to the beach in, in our group and um, seeing you lathering up your head with sunscreen. I don't remember that occasion. <laughs> but I do remember times. an occasion when I was with my friend and he's like, uh, Do you have cancer? I'm like, Awkward question. <laughs> and because usually I see my friends on and off over long periods of time it, it, it is quite possible that i could have gotten cancer in the six months i hadn't seen anyone <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you why i shaved my head bald oh wait a minute i think i've just figured it out but go on yeah you go what would you figure it out i reckon you were thinking you're not getting enough attention in life so you went to an absolute extreme of uh you didn't actually say it but when people look at you they would assume that you've got cancer so they would treat you nicer that's like that's like psychopath type shit. Why would you do no, that? No, that's called um, Manchowson disease. What do you mean? Where you pretend you've got something? Yeah, to gain sympathy. Manchowson. Munchausen's. Yeah. Munchausen. Yeah, that sounds familiar. But no, Jared, it, that wasn't the case. Um, yeah, sure. The truth was I was afraid of going bald because my <laughs> father is... <laughs> <laughs> so you shave it all off and go bald yeah well even your eyebrows conquer the fear like head on and okay so it was about conquering the fear yeah exactly uh, okay uh why would you know. do the eyebrows as well though i don't know my aunt thought it'd be cool he's like your eyebrows are too uh um light so i'm gonna shave them off so they grow back heavier i'm like they don't do that and when i said that she had already taken <laughs> like one off, so you just have to have one. Yeah, I had to have the other one off. And you draw the other one on with the... Uh... Markers. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just start, like, dotting your head as well. How's this got to do with the advice section? Because I think you need some... I don't think you need...